whispers in the pines. The small town of Ravenwood nestled in the shadow of the Blackwood Pines wore a perpetual shroud of twilight. The townspeople never strayed too far from the cobblestone streets after sundown, for the ancient trees were rumored to be home to a dark secret, something that woke when the moon was high. The stories spoke of werewolves, half-men, half-monsters, prowling the woods, alert to any sound that might break the stillness of the night. Lila had grown up in Ravenwood, listening to her grandmother's tales that wove fear into the fabric of her childhood. She spent her days mocking the superstitions, but as the chill of autumn set in, she felt the weight of those stories creeping back into her mind. It didn't help that her grandmother's condition had worsened, leaving her lost in delirium, often mentioning, the boy, a childhood friend of Lila's, Jake. Jake had disappeared into the woods seven years ago when they were teens, never to return. Lila's heart twisted with an ache she thought she had buried, now bubbling back to the surface as she recalled the starlit nights spent exploring the Blackwood Pines with him. That was before the stories gained a foothold in the town. Surely he had simply gotten lost, she tried to convince herself, but whispers in the pines echoed her concerns. As Halloween approached, tales of Jake became intertwined with the local legends. Under the guise of bravado, Lila resolved to find out the truth. She donned a thick coat, gripped a flashlight, and set out towards the forest that had both captivated and terrified her for so long. The wind howled as she entered the perimeter of the pines, each gust sending shivers of foreboding down her spine. Lila remembered Jake's laughter echoing among the trees. It mingled with the rustling leaves, transforming into a haunting melody. As she ventured deeper, the light of the moon bathed the forest in an ethereal glow, illuminating the gnarled branches that seemed to reach out, threatening to ensnare her. After an hour of wandering, Lila stumbled upon a familiar clearing. There, beneath a canopy of stars, she sat down to catch her breath. She ran her fingers over the mossy ground and suddenly, the unmistakable rustle of footsteps silenced her. Heart racing, she swept her flashlight across the clearing. Everything stood still, except for a pair of glowing eyes peering through the trees. Panic surged through her veins as the silhouette emerged, tall and distorted against the moonlight. It was a man, she told herself, but there was something wrong, too much hair, too long limbs, and a predator's grace. It took a step closer, and she could see the glistening fangs protruding from its mouth. Lila, a gravelly voice echoed, her name twisted unnaturally. It was Jake. No, you can't be him, she cried, shaking her head. You vanished you've been gone, you're not real, it's so good to see you again, he said, though the words dripped with a sinister undertone. His eyes glowed with an unnatural luminescence, shadows shifting under his skin. I'm finally home, quote, you have to let me go, Lila's voice trembled, each word becoming a desperate plea. He was not just Jake, he was something far more monstrous. The stories she once scoffed at were rushing back to her consciousness like a nightmare. They changed me, Lila, the woods. I'm a part of them now, and they're a part of me. Come closer, he beckoned, his lips curling into a grotesque smile, fangs glimmering. No, Lila stumbled backward, but stumbled onto the ground, heart thudding in her ears. The air thickened around her, pulsating, as though the forest itself were alive. Trees seemed to close in, the ground trembling with an unrelenting force. With a guttural growl, Jake lunged, and instinct kicked in, the survival instinct that had long been buried beneath layers of nostalgia. She scrambled away, her foot catching on the uneven earth, and she fell hard, breath knocked out of her. As she gasped for air, shadows danced around her, and the earthy scent of the forest mingled with the metallic tang of fear. Jake, or whatever he had become, sniffed the air, tauntingly slow, circling her like a predator. You think you can escape? We all become one with the forest, Lila. You just need to join me. Quote, terror coursed through her, but Lila forced herself to think. The tales did have whispers of a way to reverse the curse of the woods, if one could find the heart of Blackwood Pines. It was said to be hidden deep within the forest, guarded by the spirits of those lost. With newfound resolve, Lila pushed herself to her feet and ran. The branches clawed at her skin as she darted through the trees, the moonlight guiding her path. She could hear him closing in, the growl a chorus of pain and longing that reverberated within her, 
cutting deeper than she wished. Minutes stretched like hours before she stumbled into a small glade. At its center lay a stone altar, covered in moss and strange foliage. Her heart raced as she approached, feeling the energy pulsating from it, and she remembered the tales her grandmother told. Kneeling before the altar, Lila grasped a tuft of grass and prayed aloud for the spirits of the forest to save her. She begged them for help, for mercy. Calmness enveloped her as a light began to pulse from the altar, bathing her in an otherworldly glow, illuminating the darkness surrounding her. Jake burst into the glade, and Lila turned to face him, heart pounding with both fear and determination. The light between them grew stronger, cutting through the cloying shadows like a refuting spell against the curse. Wind picked up, swirling around them as Jake paused, confusion seeping into his twisted expression. Join me, Lila, he cried, the voice of the boy she once knew faltering against the raw power of the spirits. With every ounce of strength, she held her ground and bellowed over the howling wind, no. I won't become one of them. The energy surged around her, and in that moment, she knew the truth. The forest's whispers weren't just voices of lost souls, but a beacon of hope. Bright, blinding light surged outward, wrapping around Jake and knocking him back. For a heartbeat, time hung suspended. Lila's resolve fused into the light, engulfing Jake before he could react. He screamed, a sound torn between humanity and the beast he had become, echoing through the trees as the light consumed him. A gust of wind whipped through the glade, swirling the shadow of what was once Jake into nothingness. When the light dimmed, the woods returned to their eerie stillness, the darkness lifting. Lila fell to her knees, sobbing, both relieved and broken, for Jake was gone, but perhaps now free. The whispers in the pines remained, but they felt different, more like guardians than specters of doom. As dawn threw its first light over Ravenwood, Lila rose to her feet, unsure if she would ever return to the forest. A part of her wanted to forget, to let the history be buried with the lives claimed by the Blackwood Pines, but she couldn't escape the whispers. They would forever remain in her heart, a reminder of what one lost night could turn into, the darkness that lurked just beyond the light.